Next question, uh, and uh, Mark, we'll start with you, is a question on mental health and victim service. <coughs> Uh, regarding Alan Schoenborn and his request for escorted access, uh, do you believe that Schoenborn should be in jail or a psychiatric hospital? And what would your government do to prevent the next person with a mental illness from a tragic circumstance that happened to Schoenborn? Wow, that's quite a question to answer in one minute. Um, <laughs> well, uh, I mean, he was uh, found uh, uh, not uh, criminally uh, responsible. So therefore, I guess we can say that yes, he does belong in the, uh, in the institution rather than in prison. Um, sorry, what, what was the, uh, the other part of the question? Is what uh, would your government do to prevent the next person with mental illness from right. okay. a tragic consequence? So I mean, I, th I think the obvious thing now is to have more mental support in the, uh, in the in the community. And one of the things will be to give support to families of um, people with some sort of mental illness because they're obviously the first person to. To, to spot something's happening, something's going wrong, and therefore, they, if they're given more support at that point, then perhaps we can prevent crimes like that uh, from, from that happening in the first place. Kevin? Um, I think it's important to target the root causes of mental health instead of just throwing money at it, and it's important to eliminate the problems of, of such a lifestyle, and I think we, do, we really need do need to provide mental support programs for those families that are affected by it. Uh, yeah, as for the, the first half, I think it's, it's clear this is not just a case of uh, an ordinary murder, an ordinary criminal, um, which a prison would be most suitable for. It seems like a psychiatric institution is probably the best solution at this point. As, as far as preventing these things, I mean, every, every crime is a tragedy, and it, it doesn't matter how many minimum, well, it doesn't matter how many prisons you build, how many mandatory minimums you put in, a crime can still happen like this. And uh, I think as far as, you know, stopping the next one, it's just a matter of uh, investing in mental health services. And uh, our platform has a Canadian brain research strategy, which would uh, put federal money into uh, research for mental health issues. And uh, I think just identifying these as soon as they pop up and uh, doing what we can to uh, help people in that situation so that we don't just uh, wake up one day and see something like that happen again. Thanks for James. You, you can't let extreme cases cause <coughs> bad law to be written, but clearly um, something does need to be changed here. You know, when we ran for office in 2006, we said we would get rid of the faint hope clause because it doesn't put, it, it victimized victims again through the system rather than having it. The victim should be at the heart of the justice system, should not be an afterthought. And clearly what happened here is, is a complete failure of the system. The changes that need to happen so that Ed this Alan Schoenborn specific case and cases like it don't occur again or a few changes need to happen. One is if somebody is found criminally, criminally not responsible by virtue of a, a psychiatric evaluation, which is, a, which is an imprecise and evolving science, it shouldn't be one doctor. It should be a panel of at least three doctors. You don't have two because you don't want them going against each other. You should have a panel of doctors, one. Number two is victims need to be brought into the process. It, it's, it's great and I don't disagree with what others have said here about the idea of having mental health services, but I would like to have as many services offered to the victims of these murderers as are offered to the criminals. And that's not the case right now, and that's too often because there are too many advocates, I can tell you, within the system for criminals rather than for victims. But another thing that needs to happen is the BC Review panel needs to be com completely uh, reconsidered in terms of their process in which they consider the victims in the community and how they're assessed and community assessments and whether or not somebody's going to be released into the community. Communities need to be consulted, and that is not happening right now. So these are all things that can be changed. Um, but we need to make sure that we have the votes of Parliament to do it. Paul? I don't have too much to add. Um, the purpose of a criminal justice system is to make things right. I don't see in any way how this can be made right. I don't think there's anything a politician can do to, to, to have stopped this. I don't think there's anything a politician can do to put this right now. I think you're kind of asking us to be gods. And I think too many people are asking their politicians to be very godmothers or gods. That's not their job. 